This is a basic guide demonstrating how to route and utilize Antelope's FPGA effects as hardware inserts in your DAW when working with discrete 4 and 8. This can be achieved with a simple routing scheme allowing you to access the AFX on any track in your DAW. You will have access to different amounts of inserts depending on your devices and AFX package bundle. For the routing itself, we'll firstly look into the discrete control panel. Both models are handled in the same manner, so it doesn't matter with which of the two you're working. Bear in mind that the computer play corresponds to the DAW outputs and the record to the inputs. In the discrete control panel, navigate to the DAW section. Bear in mind that the DAW in record channels are predefined from the routing matrix. From the drop down menu above the AFX channel strip, select the computer play channels that will correspond to the same channels in your DAW that will be set as inserts or external effects. For example, we'll use channels 3 and 4. Note, the play and record channels should be matched. If you're intending to use an insert with IO 3 and 4, you should navigate to the third and fourth AFX channel strip, which are predefined to be armed on DAW in record 3 and 4, and from the drop down menu select computer play 3 and computer play 4. Then navigate to the monitors and headphones tab, stereo link the two AFX channel strips, link button just below the faders, click on the AFX channel strip box and initiate your desired AFX. Note that discrete 4 basic bundle users are entitled to arm AFX only on the first two channel strips. This means that you'll be able to arm and insert only with IO1 and 2. By default, every DAW is set to send its main outputs to 1 and 2, computer play 1 and 2. So you'd need to change that to 3 and 4 or above in order to utilize the inserts on channels 1 and 2. This goes for every routing scheme, including inserts on IO1 and 2. Now, let's check how the routing of your AFX is handled and easily done in some of the most commonly used DAW systems. Cubase, navigate to the Devices Tab Studio tab, VST Connections slash Audio Connections, go to External Effects and create a new external effect, set the I.O. for the effect to match the one used in the control panel for the channel strips, 3 and 4 for example, Set the send and return to the same channels. On the audio track to which you want to apply the effects, select external plugins Antelope Audio. In Pro Tools, click on a slot in the Insert tab of your track, navigate to I.O. and select Insert 3 and 4. In Logic, select the I.O. plugin for the track you want to use, select Outputs and Input 3 and 4. In Reaper, select Real Insert as a VST on your audio track and select the Send and Return to 3 and 4. In Studio One, Select the audio track to be used and select Show in the console or double click on the track itself. Select Pipeline Stereo as an insert effect and set the inputs to 3 and 4. In Ableton Live, on your audio track select External In as an input. Then configure the inputs and outputs to access 3 and 4. And set the output on the audio track. By following these instructions, you'll be able to implement the Antelope Audio FPGA effects in your project and benefit from the pristine analog quality, zero latency workflow, and easy to transfer AFX instances and settings via the session save load options. You can have a dedicated AFX insert setup for every project.